Welcome back to Crystal Clear on the Roundtable. I'm Osric Vox, and diamonds are a girl's best friend. And pearls are a diamond's best friend. The Pearls. Simultaneously fan favorites and underrated characters in Steven Universe. Blue Pearl, Yellow Pearl, White Pearl. These gems come across as simple servants to the diamonds, but there's so much more than that. Just like our Pearl, they have their own thoughts, their own feelings, their own emotions. Well, I mean, probably not White Pearl anymore, but we've done plenty of theories on that. Real quick, I wanted to give a very special thanks to the artist Janky Bones for creating this wonderful thumbnail on short notice. If you'd like to commission them or check out their wonderful animatics, their speed draws, I'll link both their social media and YouTube channel in the description. Yet, their innate personalities tell us a lot about the diamonds they serve. However, this doesn't mean they're oblivious or only believe what their diamond tells them. Aside from White Pearl, they all have a mind of their own. I bring this up because in the television promo for Diamond Days, it concludes on an ominous note, with Blue Pearl turning to our Pearl and stating, Welcome back. But not in a genuine or even awkward welcome back. She said it in such a way that made everyone go, Ooh, snap. Seriously, we see what Pearl's capable of. Blue Pearl definitely has some, uh, pearls. This got me thinking, did Blue Pearl and Yellow Pearl put together quite a bit ago what happened to Pink Diamond? Did they know the truth? Well, this actually would explain a lot. It would answer some lingering questions in relation to the pearls, and narratively clear up some confusion. Alright, if we go back to the episode message received, the very first time we meet any other pearl, Yellow Pearl, Steven questions who is that, to which Pearl retorts, not all pearls know each other, Steven. And that ended up being a both place lie. As we saw in the episode now really falling apart, the pearls did know each other. They stood side by side whenever Pink Diamond met with Yellow or Blue. So Pearl's remark here makes me wonder if she's irritated by them. If they have ever looked down on Pearl for being Pink Diamond's Pearl. This didn't even seem like something she would say to cover up the fact that she was Pink Diamond's Pearl. It was more of, oh, don't group me in with those snoots, Steven. Keep in mind, up until seeing this flashback, we had never seen Pearl interact with Blue or Yellow Pearl. In fact, she was never in the same room as them until then. The climax of That'll Be All had Holly Blue Agate, Ruby, and Sapphire enter the room Blue and Yellow were grieving, which we can assume was Pink Diamond's former break room. Yet before any of them enter the room, who do we see open the door? Pearl! Just look at her! That's such a nervous expression. This is interesting because Yellow and Blue Pearl definitely had a good sight of who was entering and leaving the room. Yet Pearl could have been at just a good enough distance for Yellow and Blue Pearl to just go, oh, it's some random Pearl. The fact that Sugar and the storyboarders decided to keep Pearl out of the room is very telling. We always knew something was up when the episode aired, as at that point in time we still weren't sure. Did Pearl belong to White Diamond or Pink Diamond? But now it has even greater meaning. Fast forward to the trial. There is one scene that made everyone go, Huh? That we never got a proper explanation for. Absolutely no context until now. When the defending Zircon realizes that not everything is what it seems, her pursuit of the truth leads her to question where was Pink Diamond's entourage, her agates, her sapphires, and where was her pearl? Up until this point, Yellow and Blue Pearl were dedicated to documenting, recording the trial, fulfilling the roles they were assigned for. Yet, it was only when Zircon mentioned Pink Diamond's Pearl that the two immediately lost focus. Yellow Pearl donning a horrified look, and Blue Pearl no longer inscribing, just being completely captivated by Zircon's forming hypothesis. We all know how that trial ended. Zircon accused a diamond of being responsible for shattering pink. And while Yellow and Blue Diamond thought nothing of the Pearl comment, a Pearl is always with her diamond. Yellow and Blue Pearl likely began to ponder, where was her Pearl? Did Homeworld ever find her? Was she shattered as well? If so, where were her shards? And then they probably continued to think, wait a minute, doesn't Rose Quartz have a pearl as well? One of an appearance almost uncanny to pink diamonds? Remember, blue and yellow pearl engage with our pearl more up front than the diamonds ever did. Same scale, same positions, same expectations. At the very least, small talk definitely happened. As they are pearls themselves, it would make sense that they are very observant of other pearls. Especially since, as the pearls for Yellow and Blue Diamond, they likely have a self-proclaimed sense of entitlement, of leadership. They are the best examples of what a pearl should be, so they would monitor and compare the behaviors of other pearls whenever they get the chance. Now I'm not really sure about Yellow Diamond, 
but Blue Diamond, and by extension Blue Pearl, did have a run-in with Rose Quartz and R Pearl, which again, would have given Blue Pearl a chance to see R Pearl up close in action. So I'm expecting in these upcoming episodes, likely familiar, if that is the episode that has this scene of Blue Pearl saying welcome back, we would get confirmation that yes, the pearls figured it out. Not being as blinded by grief as Yellow and Blue were, and making that connection of being a pearl, they were able to quickly identify Pearl's role in everything. How a diamond's pearl could also be Rose Quartz's pearl, the terrifying renegade pearl. And now that Pearl is back, they will be giving her a hard time, treating her as a traitor. And that the only thing that's keeping her from being shattered is the sole fact that she is Pink Diamond's Pearl. If that emotional connection between the diamonds weren't present, Pearl would be as good as dead. Now, there's one more factor that almost confirms this. The episode reunited. Everyone was wondering after this episode aired, where were Yellow and Blue Pearl? The diamonds just came to Earth alone? Some even speculated that maybe the pearls were in the ship, but Lex threw the Homer rolled around and we still didn't get any pearls. Considering they weren't on Pink Diamond's leg ship, and now they're suddenly popping up in these trailers, it's a rather safe bet that they just stayed on homework. Which now makes sense. From a narrative standpoint, if the pearls accompanied them, they could have suggested to Yellow and Blue outright, Pink Diamond wasn't shattered. Rose Quartz is Pink Diamond. Look at her pearl. Does she not seem familiar to you? And either the diamonds would have realized it right then and right there, or they would have just saw Pearl as someone who betrayed their diamond. She wasn't loyal. Still denying that Pink Diamond was never shattered in the first place. The only thing the pearls pointed out was that Pink Diamond's Pearl is right there. Yellow and Blue Pearl are definitely some of my favorite characters in the series. I love their interactions. I love seeing characters who have the direct influence of the diamonds. And I can't wait to see what they do next. But I think this is where I turn the conversation over to you guys. Hear your thoughts. What do you think? Do Yellow and Blue Pearl know the truth? If so, how do you expect them to interact with Pearl in upcoming episodes? Let us know in the comments below, or tweet your thoughts to me at AustinVox, or at RoundtableVids. We're also on Instagram. If you went out the Roundtable Grow, you can either become a member of the channel, or support us on Patreon. Get access to exclusive perks. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications to stay in the loop with all things Steven. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Oshik Vox out! We're in the diamond days now. It's the Christmas season once again, which means we have new Christmas designs. That's right, this year we have two Christmas sweaters, and this is the very first one. You can also grab last year's Christmas sweater and pick up some of our new posters. Link in the description. Happy holidays.